Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have quite a bit of big news when it comes to brand new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, huge graphics updates too, and more optimizations to kind of follow up a lot of that on that Fortnite news, where if you guys didn't know, Fortnite on the 5.1 Unreal Engine update too had a really big change up and made things look a lot more nicer. We had some big PlayStation brand new multiplayer games coming out. We have brand new big games going confirmed. And as well, we also have a very, very big thing when it comes to Tencent, one of the largest, biggest game companies in the world, now also buying up some more companies. So we have have some interesting news and also a lot I think oh, there's gonna be a lot of good news stories throughout this weekend as well so be on the lookout for that and as well if you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X or $500 giveaway we have the Amazon Twitter Twitch Amazon Target all that generic blah 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 down below and let's dive in the video so right, first and foremost let's go cover up some very nifty news over here when it comes to gta 5 and now this next generation push when it comes to content so if you guys have missed it the grand theft auto 5 has now brand new updates on ray tracing both for the playstation 5 and xbox series x and s and apparently everyone is saying and how fantastic it looks this is also or in honor of here from tom warren so Grand Theft Auto 5 might be approaching 10 years old, well, almost older than some people in my family, but it looks even better now thanks to a brand new ray traced reflections patch. Now, it's kind of a nice thing because we're finally seeing even more next gen titles such as let's we'll probably maybe kind of stick with the Fortnite side is that they can and will be live updated to make the games look and feel even better. Now, Ray tracing is not necessarily new technology, but seeing brand new games such as GTA finally getting brand new, I guess, updates for lack of a term. We can maybe do a quick little showcase over here as we let the video play on out. Those are just doing stuff in the background. It kind of just goes to show that the game itself has just a brand new feel. So you guys can kind of see the ray tracing on and off, just adding a lot more reflectiveness. This also, as you guys know, probably when it comes to ray tracing is on like, say, windows, water, like just the first one's maybe a rough example, but look at how much nicer this is for the secondary example showing on these huge graphic improvements. Now, this isn't cool to go and see, but I will be honest, in some cases, I do kind of actually kind of prefer the ray tracing off, but at the same time, this is one of those things where it's like the first implementation, and as years and years keep going on, we'll have more and more and more to kind of go and showcase. Like, basically, ray tracing is more so to kind of make the environment seem more realistic and more alive, more reflective, and showcase up just more in the game itself, as you guys can see with this. Now, that's why some of these examples showcase it up more, and some are more stylistically, but I think this one right here shows that, like, hey, it lets you actually see inside the car, see your character, and makes you feel a lot more immersed in the game itself. Now, I think this is fantastic because I think maybe now this is another good example. You can kind of see like the actual environment. You see the helicopter, you see the lighting, and it just looks and feels way, way, way more alive. So seeing some stuff like this and pushing towards the next generation of updates is always fantastic to go and see. Like I said, some of them kind of seem a little bit maybe nicer on the RTX off, but overall it's more of just a general improvement and kind of situationally, such as like water, reflectiveness, windows, as you guys saw, and this is finally going next gen. So another good example too, do is they now have ray trace reflections on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S consoles with the new patch. But by Eurogamer now brings ray trace reflections to the game's fidelity mode of the 30 FPS, like the nicer, higher version mode on the next gen consoles, adding a lot more realistic detail to vehicles, characters, windows, and basically any glossy surface. Now, I mean, to talk about those, say, for water, etc. etc. Now, uh, when it comes to this stuff, too, this is like kind of overdue, but we're now finally starting to see this a lot more in person. So, if you walk up to a window and your character's reflections will appear, or if you venture into areas where there is water or puddles, you'll see reflections on objects nearby. Much like the ray tracing we've seen in Cyberpunk 2077, it makes the game feel a lot more immersive, more realistic, and everything in between. So Grand Theft Auto of players have been checking out all the fun ways that this new ray tracing affects the game. So basically they have mirrors on the vehicles, you use ray trace reflections, but only when you're not driving itself. If you fly a helicopter past skyscrapers, you'll see it reflected on the glass. Even chrome-plated cars now actually show reflections too as well. So it's very nice to see because we've been seeing other big updates like, say, Fortnite that are making the games just look and feel nicer. And Unreal Engine 5.1 so far has been phenomenal. I've had a chance to play a little bit of Fortnite on the new update so far, and it looks and feels and runs fantastic and actually feels like a brand new game it's just very very cool to go and see i love it i love it i love it so if you guys want to go check this on out there's a lot of cool demos a lot of cool things being tied on in and we can kind of go with all of that so good stuff good stuff 
Now, some other kind of cool news to go and show is that Gorilla is confirming over here too as well on the Horizon Online co-op game. Now, this is even more kind of cool news too because upgrades and graphics are nice, but seeing brand new games come out is fantastic too as well. So I love this. So the studio is staffing up for the project, which will let players explore the majestic wilds of Horizon now together. So Horizon Games has confirmed it's working on an online project set in the Horizon universe. The studio has uploaded 17 job positions for a new online project with several of the descriptions confirming that's a Horizon game as spotted by content creator Jorah Raptor. Gorilla is looking for a lead world designer now to kind of bring all these cool games all together and bring this universe to a multiplayer audience. And this is kind of cool because I feel like the Horizon world and lore and more so the characters and character models are phenomenal. And I feel like this is something we should be utilizing more because we have the IP and there's a lot of cool potential for it. Like they even said, multiplayer, MMO, etc., etc. I myself would actually literally play a Horizon MMO. I think the world's there. I think the environment's there. And I think they could have so many different types of bosses and characters and everything in between that this could be really cool. So Gorilla has also again now expanded this to where they say join Gorilla in Amsterdam as we work to expand the world of Horizon. It's an exciting time to join us. We have many open roles across multiple departments, so check them out on our career page and apply today. And it's all in regards to their brand new world that we're talking about over here with brand new IPs too as well. So friends, we'll explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. Now as well, if you guys missed it too, we did also have confirmation that Insomniac is confirming that Spider-Man 2 will be swinging to PlayStation 5 as of 2023. So very cool if you guys missed that. We did make a video on that one. And as well, we did also have Dead Space confirm go gold. Gold. gold gold means basically the game is pretty much ready to ship and is ready to be bought so if you guys want to go check it out as of january 27th it seems like it's going to be going good now the callisto protocol also did have a pretty good reception at the start of the game coming out a lot of folks were enjoying it a lot of people are vibing it but at the end of the day it's just good to see you know very very good to see so i like to see this one i can't wait to go play dead space myself now last but not least the kind of big gaming news the kind of shake up over here is that tencent is now acquiring once again brand new businesses for a 20 percent stake now in shift up so this is now the second largest shareholder after the founder himself kim kyung tae so basically the chinese conglomerate tencent has now acquired a 20 percent stake in shift up the studio behind mobile games such as Destiny Child, Goddess of Victory, and then his upcoming PlayStation 5 too, and that's why we're kind of talking about it on here, Stellar Blade. After the stock acquisition, Tencent is second largest shareholder in Shift Up uh, after Shift Up founder Kim Hyung Tae. So basically, Tencent subsidiary Level Infinite is already a global publisher of science fiction RPG shooter, Goddess of Victory Niketi, uh, while also launch an iOS via App Store and Android via Google Play in November 4th, nor what. Then celebrate as a post-apocalyptic action game too as well. So kind of the big topic for this one, besides all the other cool game and game upgrades and graphic updates, is that Tencent once again is slowly but surely building the massive tech conglomerate known as whatever it is. Like Tencent. I just want to Google this for you guys really quick, but basically Tencent is one of the biggest game, like, I guess, multi-holding <laughs> holding companies, I guess, that this is insane. So good examples is Funcom, Riot Games, which is probably one of the biggest ones out there, notoriety-wise, you know, League of Legends, Valorant, you know, all those types of games, the League MMO, uh, Turtle Rock. Digital Extreme, Splash Damage, but as well, they have little bits and pieces of a lot of different companies, too. So they have, like, they have games such as, like, you know, Fortnite and Epic Games. I think they have other various things, too, as well, such as, like, general tech companies, you know? Not just, like, games themselves, but actual tech companies, too. So everything all put together is that Tencent was once again kind of taking over the entire world, and I kind of almost more is scared about Tencent rather than, you know, say, Microsoft. And Microsoft, at least, is an American-based company. But, you know, at the end of the day, it uh, does kind of go and show that they own, like, I know Tencent, I think, owns, like, 40% of Fortnite. Uh, I think they have stuff in, like, Activision, Blizzard. And at the end of the day, they got a lot of games going on. But I kind of want to hear your thoughts, because we're finally seeing a lot of these consoles now finally switching to next-gen, and finally gra getting graphics updates and ray-tracing updates, and, and basically having a chance to utilize these next-gen consoles. So I'd love to hear that, love to hear your thoughts and everything all in between, and as well, are you guys excited for these brand new PlayStation games like a brand new Gorilla multiplayer game? I myself kind of hyped up for it, same with Spider-Man 2 as well. Well, I have one more kind of sneaky video and a lot of videos throughout this weekend, so be on the lookout for that, and as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well, 
well for the brand new PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and $500 giveaway. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below, Amazon links down below, Target links down below, and well, the next video is going to probably make you guys go and cry because it might make me, so be on the lookout for that one. But I appreciate you guys all so much. Have a good weekend.